What's up guys, Hatman back with another review. We are gonna be continuing the Funko Horror five star action figures. Now, I already did the review on the Pennywise and the Freddy Krueger. We'll show you all of them at the end of this video. I managed to pick up a few days ago the other two from the set and that is Chucky on the left and Jason Voorhees on the right. So the packaging on both of these are pretty much the same. You have the open window um, on the back right here. You look at the packaging. So this is the whole set that you can collect to have the entire horror set. Now, the uh, packaging, again, like I mentioned, it's all the same for all the characters other than the name. Um, you can open up the Velcro flap and it reveals the characters there. So you have Chucky. It's cool because <laughs> he comes with some really cool accessories. I like the accessories he does come with. So there is Chucky and then you open this one over here and then we have Jason Voorhees. But enough of that, let's go ahead and open these packages up, take the figures out and take a close look at the characters. <laughs> So first up, let's take a look at the accessories that Chucky comes with. He comes with his little knife right over here, which is pretty awesome. I love that they added the little detailing there in the handle. So you have that, you have the little artwork there, and then you have the red blade, which looks cool. So the handle's the same on both sides. And then he also comes with, now I think this is the first time a Chucky figure has, you know, came with a voodoo doll. I'm not sure, I mean, you guys can correct me, you know, down below. But this is awesome. This is a really nice touch that they, this actually included the little voodoo doll. So those are the accessories that Chucky comes with. Uh, Jason, you get your standard weapons. You have the machete. This is a bloody machete right here. Just a, a, a soft, you know, rubber material. You can see that there. So you get a machete, a little bit sharp still in the end. So like I always say, just be careful around kids. And then you get a hatchet. Now this is also a soft rubber material, but those are the accessories that Jason does come with. Let's bring out the characters. All right, so here we have Chucky. This is awesome. This is really, really cool. You know, when I first got the other two figures, I was like, maybe I'll pass on the Chucky and the Jason, but seeing them in hand, especially Chucky, these are so cool. The head sculpt looks great. I love he has kind of like an, almost like an innocent look to him. The eyebrows and all that are all painted on. He's got the big blue eyes. The hair looks great. And then you have his overalls right there. You have his striped shirt, his signature outfit, I guess you can say. He's got the good guys written on there. And then you have his uh, blue or red shoes there with a little bit of white. But overall, I think this guy looks super cool. Now, as far as the articulation goes for him, he does have rotation in the head and the hands just have a swivel there. Nothing in the feet or the waist, but there is Chucky. Next up, we have Jason Voorhees, another great looking figure. Now again, they made these guys look cute because he does have big blue eyes and I doubt we've seen Jason look like that in any of the films. Uh, the mask is cool. You can see the holes in on there. The holes aren't all painted on. They're actually sculpted in. So that's a very nice touch. You have the, uh, the straps right there for the back of the mask. Uh, the head is kind of, you know, proportioned, you know, like kind of like it has that defor deformat deformality. Deformality, did I just make up a word? Um, it would have been cool if they added a little bit more details like some of the hair strains and veins and everything but other way otherwise still looks really cool and another touch that would have been nice with this is if the mask would have been removable or given us an interchangeable head sculpt still a cool figure though um, you have his uh, greenish or tannish uh, tannish olive color shirt you can see the white undershirt under there he's got the buttons the pockets and then there's the back and he's got some blue pants and he has his little brown boots right there. Now he's gonna have the same kind of articulation as Chucky, just rotation in the head sculpt. The arms go forward in the back. All right guys, so the characters can hold on to their accessories fairly well. Chucky, I had to kind of pry in his knife. So you might have to, depending on, I guess the grips on it, how it's sculpted on yours. Mine, I had to kind of pry the hand open to hold onto his knife because he wasn't holding onto it well, but he holds onto the voodoo doll pretty good. And of course, Jason's gonna hold onto both of his accessories very well. All right guys, so here's all the figures from the Funko Five Star Horror Line. I definitely recommend these, especially if you're horror fans. I mean, I know these are like cute versions, of the horror icons, but I feel, still think they're great for your collection. Now, hopefully down the line, they'll give us different versions of these characters since there is different looks for them, especially Pennywise, Chucky, and Jason Voorhees. Also, hopefully they'll give us a pinhead, 
Michael Myers, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and so forth. You guys in the comments below, let me know what other horror characters you would like to see done, or what versions of these characters you'd like to see done. But again, like I always say, are these pickups or pass? Which one is your favorite one? If you guys have any, let me know in the comments below which one you have. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you guys haven't. We'll see you soon for more reviews. Peace. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends.